Welcome, it's me, Kate Walsh. If you, if you weren't looking for Kate Walsh, I'm sorry, you've got me. If you are, you're welcome, and I'm sorry for about what you're about to see. Um, it will be highly fallible, but hopefully entertaining um, and filled with love and joy. Let's talk about women. Women, I'm one. Hold on, Nicole's a woman. We even have proof because she's about to have a baby. <laughs> How nice is that? We've got another woman over there. She's sitting at the table. Derek is male, um, but we love him. And um, happy uh, International Women's Day. Um, I feel like it should be Women's Day every day. It kind of is in, in our world. And also Women's History Month. Woohoo! I'm super excited to be TikToking. Um, I am in a black tank that's currently covered in cat hair. I may be changing. We're doing hair and makeup because I'm gonna be doing a little bit of press later too. So um, for, I don't know if you heard about this movie I did called Sometime Other Than Now. You can check it out. That was my pose. Um, on It's streaming everywhere and it's in theaters in um, the, the United States of America as well. Um, so the, the other thing I wanted to tell you is again, welcome. And um, I'm doing this really cool, fun thing on my social platforms all month to celebrate women entrepreneurs. We're partnering with Boyfriend and, um, and just shining a light on all these amazing uh, female entrepreneurs. We already did one with Joanna Vargas, skincare, who's awesome and incredible. Um, she's an old pal of mine. Not old, but just a pal, but we've known each other for a while, hence old. Um, she's incredible. She started her own business, fantastic. Um, and uh, she's based in New York and LA and she has incredible products, Joanna Vargas. So we did a little um, product giveaway with her and boyfriend. We um, are gonna be, we've got three more women, female entrepreneurs. Women, also female, that's another word for woman. Do you enjoy that? Mm. So we're just finishing up makeup, Nicole's graciously. We had some technical difficulties, I'm not gonna lie. Thanks for all the purple hearts. It's one of my favorite emojis. Um, but I'm happy to be here. In the whatever satellites these are going to, so that I get to see you all, it makes me happy. Um, so yeah, so we're doing a bunch of fun stuff. Um, one of the things I guess I uh, I wanted to chitty chat kitty cat about is um, boyfriend and how I I started that. Uh, I was an entrepreneur back in the day, um, not too long ago, just about 10 years ago, we started the company and then um, sort of restarted it a couple of years ago. Um, one of the things that I guess I love about uh, entrepreneur, oh wait, hold on. Derek's bringing over some boyfriend right now as we speak. What's up? In case you didn't know about it. Um, this hair is a little odd, but that's okay. Um, so here we go. I think, how was the powder? I feel like I'm, do I feel powdered? I feel powdered. I feel like it's good. It's also summer here. I should say that we're in the we're in Australia. We're broadcasting live, and it is summer. So here's boyfriend. What's up? And that's the eye of the Walsh. I just wanted to scare you a little bit. Did it scare you? Um, so boyfriend, um, eau de parfum. And for some of you, for those of you who have not experienced boyfriend, um, it is a delight and a sensation. Uh, an international hit. Uh, <laughs> no, kidding, not kidding. Um, it's incredible. The uh, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it, just because why not? I have your attention, don't I? Oh, someone says I'm wearing it right now. What? Mm, mm, mm. That's what I say to you. So um, you do a little something like this. Watch. I'm going to demonstrate a thing. A walk and spray. Because you don't really want to, unless you've got like a long day ahead of you and you, yeah. So <laughs> Nicole's stepping away. <laughs> So you just spray, what, like so, and then walk into it. And sometimes you shimmy a little, it helps. Oh, it's so good. Um, the top notes are night blooming jasmine and juicy plum. And then you have this nuzzly uh, vanilla and um, an amber notes so that makes it very nuzzly and uh, snacky, I like to say. It, it smells delicious. Like, if you were in, like I, if I were like a kid, I'd try to eat it, but I'm an adult now, so I don't do that. But it's very tasty. Um, it's got this vanilla, um, and um, not like that cheap vanilla that, you know, like, no, it's not like cotton candy. It's like vanilla, it's like expensive, but it's not expensive. It's actually very well-priced. 
Um, so anyway, juicy plum top note on boyfriend, little night blooming jasmine, which is an aphrodisiac. Um, and it reminds me of California. And then little um, amber notes, uh, vanilla, tiny bit of musk, not the, you know, Grateful Dead musk. It's more like a sophisticated musk. And let's be honest too, that it is synthetic. We don't hurt any animals. It's a boyfriend's green, clean, um, vegan, and we love it. And also if you, if you haven't, if you want to sample it, you can go to boyfriendperfume.com and use the uh, code sampler and you get it for free, a free sample. It's one of my go-to poses. It's not a go-to pose. Um, so some people, well, I can't adopt you. That wouldn't be legal. I think that no one lets me adopt in most of states and countries. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, this is the boyfriend sampler in case you want to sample. Look how cute. Um, and it's a little boyfriend suit, meaning um, this. So this is what you get if you go to boyfriendperfume.com and press sample. Oh, that's my old dog, Rosie. She likes to cough. Oh yeah, work it girl, work it. Oh, stretch it out. Oh, snap. Ooh. Just in case you were wondering, that pink scarf is all the way from New York City. We haven't changed it in three months. We have washed it though. Um, so Rosie the dog's here. Pablo's chilling like somewhere. Um, I do, so let's talk about. Some Q&A questions. Oh, there's some Q&A. Some questions have come in. If you guys have any more questions, go ahead and like post them now, but we do have some questions. Um, oh, how is it seeing boyfriend have a new life when you relaunched in 2018? It was incredible. This is one of the things I'll say about, and it's something I like talking about with female entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs in general, but particularly women, um, because I think sometimes we have this idea that you, as an entrepreneur, you have to do it by yourself. And um, I will say that even when I initially launched Boyfriend myself and I, I financed all of it, um, it still takes a village. It takes a village of everybody from the um, uh, Givadon, the fragrance house that I partner with, to um, the bottle designers, to um, packagers, uh, Vicki Jean Wagner. I'm going to give her a shout out because she was... Uh, thrust in the world of fragrance, unbeknownst to her. She was just assisting me, and I was like, how about we run a fragrance empire together? Woo um, but anyway, the biggest uh, um, joy in relaunching in 2018, other than like a team of experts and other great creative minds um, coming in to repackage and simplify it, I don't know if some of you remember, but maybe you don't, because you're probably young. I feel like the TikTok crowd might be, I did a center part for you. But look, if you go real close, you can see some little sparkles coming through. That's what Paris Rose Hair Artistry calls them. She calls the, the gray hair sparkles, which I think is sweet. Um, but we, 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 we put some eyeshadow to cover that up. You're seeing how the sausage is made. This is the sausage, and that was how partly how it's made. Um, I digress, though. So, boyfriend, it was great to have a new team in of experts and youth and look at to make it gorgeous. I, it was one of the things I really wanted was to make the packaging um, super fabulous and chic and have great value and also um, have it smell great, but make it accessible financially to people because I didn't want you to have to be break the bank to have a boyfriend. So anyway, you can go to boyfriendperfume.com and learn all about that. So. Um, I think I went over the fragrance notes. If you're just tuning in, welcome, welcome. I'm wearing my exercise shirt, which has a built-in bra. A lot of people are like, how do you do it? That's how I do it, with a built-in bra. And my shorts with also have built-in underwear, which is so, like, this is basically my uniform. <laughs> so it's very simple. <laughs> They're like, oh, so embarrassing, it's true. It's like, ha, ah. like that's my dream world. Built-in bras and underwear, you never have to, unless I'm, oh, here she comes. <laughs> 13, going strong. Oh, she wants to go out to the patio. Hold on a minute. Let me just like, come with me. Walk with me. Oh. Um. <laughs> anyway, if you're just tuning in, TikTok, TikTok. I'm in the process of making an outdoor living room. Why not? We like to live outdoors and be comfortable. So, um, 
What else? Someone asked, what does the scent remind you of? This is the room spray, by the way, great value. You can spray that everywhere. Um, Pulse Point Oil, this ships internationally. Most of it does, this candle, except for the alcohol-based products, can't ship that internationally. I don't know what happens, but some days, someday we'll do it. Um, scent reminds me of um, love, sexiness, coziness. Um, it's super juicy. Like I said, if I were a person with a different proclivity, like if I wanted to I would try to eat it, is what I'm saying. It's tasty, it's very tasty, very snacky. Mm, Nuzzly. Um, the other thing is, oh yeah, 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 we ship internationally for some products, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, but if you wanna sample it, go to boyfriendperfume.com and use the word sampler, mm, and you'll get a sample. Um, so yeah. If you've just joined, maybe some of you don't know me. I find that difficult to believe. <laughs> just kidding. Um, if you don't, I, I, uh, you may have seen me on, you know, Grey's Anatomy, Umbrella Academy, Emily in Paris, right? Um, I'm in a little film that just came out with Donal Logue and Trieste Dunn and all sorts of awesome people. Amy Hargreaves called Sometime Out of the Now. Um, that's out. Um... Yeah, so I think I'm very proud of it. I think it's awesome. Um, if you do, let's see, any other questions? Oh, someone said it's such a good movie. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, and, oh, what's my favorite color? Mm, powerful, powerful question. I'm just kidding. Um, blue, probably blue. I'm going to go with blue. Oh, there's my blue water bottle. Um, so if you're just joining again, it's me, Kate Walsh. I feel like, am I doing more harm to women by doing this TikTok? Is this for National Women's International, Women, Women's History Month and International Women's Day? It's still, we're in the next day. I come to you from the future in Australia, Western Australia. Um, so, uh, we've been celebrating, but I also feel like we celebrate it every day. We do, we can. I feel like I might need a little more blush. Do you think, Nicole? How do you guys feel about it? Um, I can't, these, uh, will you marry me? I would, but I don't really believe in marriage. Just kidding. Um, yeah, yeah, just a little bit of warmth. We gotta do it. I look a little anemic slightly. Um, people always ask if I wanna go back to Grays. I think maybe. We were talking about it at one point, but I was shooting season two of Umbrella Academy and I couldn't. So that would have been fun. But I do love what they did with um with um with Dempsey and and Mer Meridare. I enjoyed that. Um I was moved by it. There's no end to the imagination of a of a writer. Uh oh, look at so good. That just happened. Thanks, Nicole. Um so Anyway, we were talking about female-founded business, so we, we focused on, uh, if you're just joining, welcome. I do a lot of that. It's something that people think it's a twitch. It's not, it's just me winking, trying to be sexual. Um, I, so we're doing this thing this month to celebrate women and entrepreneurs, and we're probably gonna continue it, because why stop a good thing? Um, it's what a boyfriend, uh, the boyfriend team and I were really interested in, um, just this past year with uh, beyond the pandemic and everything that's been going on in the world, uh, really shining a light on female entrepreneurs and um, and what they've accomplished. So we've got, we did one with Joanna Vargas Skincare, which I, um, and then we've got three others coming up, which um, you just have to go to my socials and we'll, we'll, you'll stay tuned and doing some really cool stuff. Um, so check that out. That's coming for the, through the rest of March. Um, really incredible women. They're women in beauty, women in, there's jewelry. I'm gonna, I'll give you a little um, teaser. Jewelry, um, paper products. And no, I'm not talking paper towels, okay? Just to tune in to see what that's about. Or TP. Um, and uh, ceramicist, just a great a friend of mine who's so incredible. Um, and uh, I'm gonna show you all the stuff that she made and, and, and sells and like her incredible talent. Um, who's your favorite? Uh, things are going so fast. They do, these, these questions fly fast. Oh wait, I'm gonna hit the question button, slow this. 
chisel down. Can we see the cat? Where do we think we are? Where he is, I mean, we are. He's probably under the covers. He likes to sleep in. Let's see. Oh, he's here. Hold on. Uh, so there he is. Pops. Pablo had a bit of a drama. He had a giant tumor removed. Don't worry, he's fine. Uh, but he is still... Coming back. Um, I think it's a very 90s look, this asymmetrical haircut, uh, but we're very happy. He's 16 this year and he's just keeping on, keeping on and uh, living his best life. Um, so that's Pablo. Anyway, what else can we say about that? <laughs> Are you still with me? Have I lost you? <laughs> this is actually psychological torture for anyone who works with me. <laughs> I'm gonna sit back in my chair. Cause, oh look, there's a nice light from the window. That's called natural lighting. Mm. Um, what? Oh no. What happened? Hey. Comments are still coming through. What do I do? Hold on. I am. No suit. So now it's like I don't want to explore that. Close it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You're back. Whoa. What happened? So, right after this, we're gonna to try to go to Mars. What, how, how does anybody do anything? It's, um, technology is probably one of my greatest uh, foes. It's very challenging for me. If you're just tuning in, it's, uh, I, my name is Kate Walsh. I sometimes act in things. Um, and, um, <laughs> Someone said, how many siblings do I have? I have four siblings. I have two sisters and two brothers. I'm really enjoying the eye makeup, Nicole. I think it looks really good. Yeah, it's really dope. I enjoy it. I still say words like dope. Is that trying? No, you know what though? All of my jargon and slang is still from whatever, 80s, 90s, which are kind of back. So maybe, who knows? Um, hold on a minute. I'm going to try to slow it. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at... Do, can you still see me, even though I'm looking at... Yeah. Okay, great. Where's five? Oh, you'll have to tune in. Um, someone's like... Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, what have I done during lockdown? That's a good question. Let's start there. What have I done during lockdown? Um, I did what some of the world did, which baked bread and ate food and... Um, Drank some wine. And then I did a play with Lucy Kate over there with the top knot. We did a play called um, The Other Place. And um, we had the great privilege of doing theater here in Western Australia in, um, with the Fremantle Theater Company. Check them out. Um, yeah, we, we did that in, the, in a time. Oh, hold on. Here comes Pablo. <laughs> Pops. How you doing, bud? Hey, look at those whiskers. Some of the best in the business. Anyway, we did a play uh, and by Shar White and Chris Edmund Baker directed it and Dalip Sandi and Marara Wangai were in it along with Lucy K. Westbrook and myself. And we, it was incredible. That was really, that was, I'd say that was like the big highlight of 2020 for me. Um, and then uh, the, the only other thing that I, did in 2020 was, uh, oh, I explored the great state of Western Australia. Um, there was a big movement, here, which was, let's talk about Western Australia for a minute. You guys, when the borders open, I, I highly uh, recommend you coming here to visit. It's, it's stunning, it's beautiful, it's pristine, it's diverse, it's incredibly, it's incredible. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, uh, and I got to work with a bunch of people. I met incredible people in this industry and in tourism and uh, business leaders and civic leaders um, that we're all advocating for many, many years to get a studio built here. So we, I helped out with that, which was in incredibly gratifying. And that looks like that's gonna happen. 
So that's really exciting. So people can, I'm, I don't know if you guys know, but everybody's coming here to shoot movies and television because it's, um, they've handled COVID in an incredible way, and particularly here in Western Australia. Um, the premier has, uh, Mark McGowan has been incredible and kept everyone safe. So we were very lucky during lockdown. This is a long answer to lockdown. Do you feel like you're kind of locked down with me? Hold on. Can still do that. What's up? What's up? TikTok. Enjoy it. Uh, I feel like I've taken you hostage, but um, hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully you've got Stockholm Center by now and you're like, let's, let's keep hanging out with K-Dub. Um, bring a girlfriend out for the lesbians. That's what, um, <laughs> I just saw that comment. I love that. Well, the thing about boyfriend is it is universal. It's like, I think that's one of the things we actually did think about was, um, it being, it's, um, gender all over. How about that for a new coined expression? I can't be articulate. If you're just tuning in, yeah, it's me, Kate. I don't know if you got the wrong channel. But <laughs> it's me. Enjoy me. I'm sorry. You're welcome. That's going to be the name of my autobiography. Um, we're just here talking about, uh, well, we're talking about women. We're talking about what I did during lockdown. Um, Brazil, hi. I love you. I feel very loved by you and I love you back. Um, the other thing is, hold on, let's slow down the questions because I do want to talk. I like answering the questions. Oh, what are my pronouns? I'm going to say she, her, yeah. Um, lady friend. Oh, now you're, I feel like can we make up some new pronouns? I mean, he, she, they, them, we, were. Like, let's just make up new ones. I think we should just all make up new pronouns. And, um, oh dear, I have like 54 seconds. Is that correct? Do I still have 54 seconds remaining? Or is that because we were late getting started? Yeah, we were a little late. So do we keep going or do we, you guys, you may be done with me in a few, in a minute, or I may continue, but dance moves. I think you've seen enough of my dance moves. Um, I, but, um, I, if this is the end, I'm going to tell you this. Every day is women's day in my book. Um, and I celebrate you all and send you lots of love and, um, International Women's History Month. Check out my socials. There's a lot of stuff going on. We're going to celebrate women all month long and then probably continuing through 2021 because why not? Um, and if you're curious about boyfriend perfume, my personal exercise in entrepreneurship, that's uh, my personal exercise in entrepreneurship that's um, thriving thanks to the great boyfriend team. Uh, if you're interested, then you can go to boyfriendperfume.com and use the code sampler, that's S-A-M-P-L-E-R, and you'll get a free sample of Boyfriend, which will look like this if you get it in the mail. And then inside, hi, joy, pure joy and sensuality. Um, okay, we celebrate women today and every day. Is it the end? Or are we? I'm waiting to see if we keep going. Oh, wait, hold on a minute, they're waiting. Hold on a minute. Someone, let's just see. He's writing right now. He's ah, okay. Just, yeah, tell me then. Answer some general questions. Okay. Well, what was my favorite show to... Do I... Well, someone's asking, do I like a Jennifer Aniston, Logan Evans, 241? I do like Jennifer Aniston. I love Jennifer Aniston. Um, uh, I, I, I really enjoy her. Also, uh, what's your favorite acting role? That is impossible to say. Well, I will say one, um, because it was just, you know, I think five episodes, but I loved playing Gina Hess in the season one of Fargo that Noah Hawley brilliantly wrote. And um, Interesting fact, fun fact for some of you. If you're just tuning in, it's still me, Kate Walsh. So if you were looking for someone else, 11 a.m. sharp or whatever time it is sharp, wherever you are, it's still me. But um, anyway, Steve Blackman, who I met when he was uh, running the writer's room on private practice, then went on to write on Fargo, where I went to work, and then he went on to create Umbrella Academy. So it was... Um, 
really, really cool. I mean, that's an ongoing, fun working relationship, and um, they're three totally different shows and totally different roles, and uh, so that's been a, a really fun, and hopefully we continue working together on other projects for years, years to come. Um, and, uh, hi, Argentina. Hello. And, uh, let's see, let me just see if there's, because there's some cool ones. A lot of questions about me adopting people. I think it's just, you don't really want me to be, I just because I would adopt you and then I'd be like, I'd forget to feed you or something. It wouldn't be right. Um, in five or something. In this series, the manager in five or something. Ah. Mm, that's a good question, but <laughs> but I can't really answer that. I think it's like great to leave it to the view, but I always thought there was a little bit of something between five, older five, and the handler. That was a question about Umbrella Academy. Um, and what else? If you're just tuning in again, it's me, Kate. And um, I still didn't even put a shirt on. I'm still in my shirt with the built-in bra and the shorts with the built-in underpants. So that's what you get. Um, <laughs> enjoy. Um, and uh, happy International Women's Day. And what else? I keep talking? Wait, hold on. Let's go see if we can find blah, blah. This is what I do. Basically, this is what I do almost every day, is just look for the cat and dog. Oh, wait, Rosie is in the corner cooling off by a succulent. <laughs> All right, I do have to like, oh, shizzle. Hold on a minute, hold the phone. Hey, what's up? Did you, were you looking for privacy? Look at that paw. The thing is, is he knows exactly the amount of dappled sunlight and the amount of shade. You gotta give a guy props for that. Um, I do feel like I've been remiss. There's so many amazing women. You know, let me talk about my mom just for a minute because she was the first, you know, woman I knew. And my grandma. Um, those are two incredible women that were, um, not only because my mom had me, but my grandmother took care of me quite a bit. Um, particularly after my parents divorced. My mom's a single mom working. And, you know, I spent a lot of time wishing my mom, you know, was more like Carol Brady. You're probably too young to understand who Carol Brady is or was, but it was the Brady Bunch. And I wanted, and there was an Ica's idea of her being like, you know, just sort of the perfect mom and, I don't know, staying at home. And I don't, and when I look back, I'm so grateful for the mom that I had and how courageous she was and how, with the, the path that she took and the trail that she blazed for herself and the very interesting and unusual life that she, she led and continues to um, lead. Um, well, I just feel very, very grateful. And um, she and, of course, my father, too, and a lot of other people along the way made it possible for me to uh, pursue my dreams to think outside the box, to have the courage to be different, and um, I'd say not have a traditional kind of path in life. And I just feel like one of the things that's so important about Women's History Month is not only honoring and looking at our, the women that went before us, but the women that are tra blazing trails now, helping each other out, lifting each other up. There's so many, everywhere I look, there's women around that are inspiring me. Um, and uh, there's a couple right there. Look at those two jungle cats. We got one over here, Nicole. She's the leaning breed. She's leaning because she's about to have a baby in like two seconds. All right, I got to shut it. I got to zip it up. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. If you did, you're welcome. Again, that will be the name of my um, autobiography someday. Make sure to follow me on TikTok right here. Um, and, oh, make sure you especially follow at Boyfriend or check us out at um, boyfriendperfume.com. I'm sending you all love and joy and safety and strength and, um, and a tiny little shoulder shake, shimmy shake. I love you. Bye. Mwah. I don't know how to turn this off, so it's going to be a little awkward. <laughs> People are maybe going to follow me now. Like, <laughs> I, we've done more damage than good. No.